tip 18. Hyperparameter search results from grid search or randomized search can be converted into a data frame. It makes it far easier to explore the results. So in the two tips above, we've just been looking at those best score and best params. In this case, what we're going to do is we are going to take the CV underscore results underscore attribute, and that's actually designed to be converted into a data frame. So we're going to convert it into a data frame and select out the three most relevant columns and then store that as results. And now that it's a data frame, you can explore it easily. And in this case, we're just going to sort it by rank test scores. Now, when you're doing this, you might be looking for certain trends like, oh, L1's always appearing above, or it's working well when we're using L1 regularization and C is high, but it's also working well when we're using L2 and C is low or something like that. I'm just making things up. But you might be looking for trends that will help to guide your future testing. A couple things worth noting. Number one is I didn't show the pipeline here because I'm trying not to show an extreme amount of code in every tip, but I created this pipeline using the pipeline class instead of the make pipeline function. If I had used make pipeline, the default step name would have been logistic regression, and it makes for these really long parameter specifications like logistic regression underscore underscore penalty. And because I use the pipeline class, I can define the name of the step, and I just called it model, so that makes these a little shorter. If you want to see everything I'm talking about, you can look up this tip on GitHub. Now note, if, as you might kind of figure, let's say you have a bunch of parameters, not just two parameters you're trying, this area under params will quickly overflow and you won't be able to see everything. If that happens, what you'll want to do is just save the full data frame, don't save only three columns from the data frame, save the full data frame, and then you'll be able to examine the results on a parameter by parameter basis. And it's hard to explain exactly why, but you'll figure it out as soon as you look at the data frame of grid.cv results.